being here. Yeah. Let's transition now to the opening round of the men's 100, where we saw Trayvon Bromel run 9.84, wind aided, and he turned to look across the track and make sure his victory was assured. In that same heat, Justin Gatlin ran 9.93, and Michael Williams ran 9.95. Ronnie Baker runs 9.88 legal, uh, and Fred Curley goes 9.93. Uh, Noah Lyles in that heat ran 9.95, and then Marvin Bracey and Kenny Bednarik won the other two heats. What was your takeaway from the opening round, Gordon? Takeaway is Curly did not make a bonehead decision. He may have, it's not like he, he is clearly going to be able to make this final. I think mm -hmm. he's running well enough that. He should at least be top six to make that four by one. Will he yes. get third or second? I don't know. Um, anything can happen. But he didn't have he didn't have a like, oh man, what are you doing here? He had a, a good race. 993, 1.9 wind. He did uh lose to Baker. It's kind of interesting because mm -hmm. Baker talked about curly racing him. Uh he runs basically the same time as Justin Gatlin. I, I, this mm -hmm. this 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 picking this team is gonna be really hard. I mean, I'm really excited to see who actually makes the final because the question is there are guys who didn't run as fast, but they did well in their heats, like Marvin Bracey, Kenny B, Isaiah Young. Yeah. And I'm kind of excited to see how these uh semifinals play out. Um, we know Bromel is gonna win. Nothing's changing that unless something crazy happens. Yeah, uh, but I really think I can think of 10 to 15 different combinations of who gets second and third in this, in these final. I, I, yeah, there's no, be, I have no faith. There's no one over 50% chance to get second or third. Everyone is under 50%. Yeah. yeah that's except for I, I think the big, the big takeaway came actually in the press conference about Noah Lyles when he said everything that he does is preparation for the 200. And he recounted a conversation that he had with his mom. And she's like, well, why are you worried about, you know, the hundred and he talked about how he wasn't worried at all for the two the 200 and she said well why are you worried about your side chick that's their, <laughs> not my quote that was lyle's quote about what his mom said to him so clearly the focus is on the 200 so i think that means we need to lower our expectations about what he thinks he can do in the yeah in the hundred and it it's coming at a time the event is just remarkably deep too and i mean even if lyle's was on top of his game I don't think he'd be a lock. He'd be in that. He'd be in that group. But right now, with how Curly's running, how Baker's running, how Gatlin's running, how Bracey's running, and obviously Bromel, it's just it's going to be a stacked, stacked final. Uh, I also wanted to wish, uh, hopefully, get well soon and not that bad of an injury to to Jalen Slade. It looked really bad when he pulled up. Uh, you made a loud noise, like "damn," basically. <laughs> Uh, when it happened, when I was watching it with you, it looked, I don't want to speculate on the injury, but um, when you saw it first, it looked really, really bad, but it did look like he was walking off on his own power, which I think is a good, a good sign. But hopefully Jalen Slade, his first trials, he's able to uh, have a speedy recovery. Yeah, I thought something snapped is what it looked like, the flailing of it, but yeah. luckily it seems like it wasn't anything like that. It looks like just... When you're running so fast and you make one small weird step, you can kind of go, you can just lose your balance and it can look a lot worse than it really is because you're just going at such a, a fast speed. But he's fine, which is good. He's young. You should see him in that 200. Should be good. Yeah. Uh, someone in the chat asked thoughts on Matt Bowling. I mean, he made it, he advanced. Yeah. Uh, small Q there. Think he ran 10.13. He was fifth in his heat, the third heat. Obviously, he'd have to really outperform his seed time to, to make the final. Yeah, he, he did not get uh, a good start. He did not get a good yeah, start. He didn't, yeah, he was behind. Uh, anyone not make it? I mean, Kendall Williams didn't make it, but Rodney Rowe, a couple of the college guys, it wasn't other too many crazy um, DNQs did not qualify. Mm -hmm. What happens in the semis will be kind of monumental, and we'll kind of talk about that at the end of the pod.